this is a message uh, to all of the United States citizens in North Carolina that voted to pass Amendment 1. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. Fuck you some more. Amendment 1, which is a constitutional, uh, a state constitutional ban on, uh, let me get the wording right. Um, the referendum North Carolina Amendment 1, one goes a step beyond, beyond outlawing same-sex marriage, which was already illegal in the state. The law decrees that marriage between one man and one woman is the only domestic legal union that shall be valid or recognized in the state meaning that civil unions and potentially other types of domestic partnerships will no longer be legally recognized. This is how far the bigots are willing to go. The bigots are willing to screw as many people as possible so that homosexuals like me do not have the right to marry the person that we love, the person that we want to be with, just because we happen to be the same sex. Now, the vast greater majority of this entire push is from the religious right. That's been the entire build-up of this uh, amendment, was the religious right saying that according to their Bible, marriage is in between one man and one woman, which is actually wrong. The majority of people that are going to see this, that are sub to me, know the Bible, but for the other ones that are going to come across it, nowhere in the Bible does it say that marriage is in between one man and one woman. In fact, if you want to use the Bible for grounds for marriage, it's actually polygamy that's wrought throughout the Bible. In fact, there's actually ancestral polygamy, meaning incest and polygamy at the same time. But I I'm not here for a, less a lesson on the Bible. I'm here because I am pissed at how far and unthinking certain people are in our country. There is no data backing up what they have to say. And the majority of what they say is that gay marriage will destroy traditional marriage. Which, what they mean is one man, one woman, which is only about a hundred and some years old, maybe a hundred and ten, a hundred and fifteen years old, just in this country, before that polygamy was really uh, wide. They have no data backing up how gay marriage is going to destroy America. They have no data backing up that gay marriage will is destructive and dangerous to society overall. And that's entirely what we hear. We hear from them that gay marriage is that were dangerous and that were destructive and all of this negative shit but they don't back it up with a goddamn fucking thing and now in North Carolina they passed this amendment to not only to not only make gay marriage illegal but to not recognize common law marriage and other types of marriages that happen in other states. North Carolina already had a law banning gay marriage. They just wanted to go a step further to make this a much harder fight. Now, this battle in California is going to drag out another 10 to 15 years 
at minimum to get that removed. North Carolina has just made a giant step backwards. Well, 10 to 15 years, maybe. It depends on how quickly it will get to the Supreme Court because the majority of people that are going to watch this is going to know that this is going to cause a major battle. I just have a question for people that are against same-sex marriage. Provide evidence. Show how gay marriage destroys marriage. Show how it destroys society. Just show how it's dangerous. Because so far, none of you have been able to do it. And stuff like this creates gay people like me that are pissed the fuck off. You would not believe how outspoken I actually am in real life. I've nearly gotten into drag out fights over this shit. People like me are tired of this. This is like 40 years ago when, uh, when interracial marriage was an issue. Where my mom and or my mother and my father if they were 10 years uh, earlier they would have had major problems with their relationship because one is white one is black I'm just wondering how far is people willing to go to satisfy their own bigotry and their own self-righteous hypocrisy this is why uh, groups like Bash Back were formed. I don't condone everything that they did, but I understood what they did. Because we're tired of it. We're tired of the fucking bullshit. We're tired of the bigotry. We're tired of the disrespect. We're tired of the hatred. We're tired of people imposing their own personal point of view with nothing backing it the fuck up and a shitload of evidence in the complete contradiction of it. North Carolina, I hope that you are ready for the battle that is coming. Because I'm going to personally enjoy it. I, I, I really am. I, I'm... I'm going to enjoy watching your state be ripped the fuck apart over what you just did. I hope that you guys get, get your shit together and find a way to get rid of this before that happens. But if you don't and you, you want to continue with this, it's going to turn into something, actually it's already something major, but... I don't think that you people that voted for this really thought this through. And like I said at the beginning of this, this was pushed by the religious right. So, you know, their thinking is listening, is listening to their religious leaders saying what, what they say is in their Bible and what their religion is supposed to be totally ignoring the first amendment of the constitution of the federal United States, you know, Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. No, you, you guys don't like that when it's against you, but you want to use it as a fucking shield. I'm going to leave a link, a, a couple links for this down below for people to go check out. But I, I think I'm done rambling and ranting. If I, I, I could go on for so much longer. But comment, make videos, show, show your support. If you're even against it, make a video, attach it, I'll respond. Bye.